Draw the graph resulting from each transformation. Label the invariant points. In part A, we'll draw the graph of y equals f of x plus 3. A transformation of the form y equals f of x plus k is called a vertical translation. y equals f of x plus 3 will move the graph up 3 units. Begin by moving all the points on the graph 3 units up. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. There are no invariant points in a translation. Every point has a new position. In part b, we'll draw the graph of y equals f of x minus 4. This graph will be vertically translated down 4 units. Begin by moving all the points in the graph down 4 units. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. There are no invariant points in a translation. Every point has a new position. In part c, we'll draw the graph of y equals f of x minus 2. A transformation of the form y equals f of x minus h is called a horizontal translation. The motion of the graph is opposite to the connecting sign, so y equals f of x minus 2 will move right 2 units, even though it looks like it should move left 2 units. Begin by moving all the points on the graph two units right. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. There are no invariant points in a translation. Every point has a new position. In part d, we'll draw the graph of y equals f of x plus 3. The direction of motion is opposite the connecting sign. So the x plus 3 inside the function means translate the graph 3 units left. Begin by moving all the points on the graph 3 units left. Next, connect the dots to complete the graph. There are no invariant points in a translation. Every point has a new position.